I'm Jesse Weiler, and today I'm going to share a little bit about votive candles with you. Votive comes from the Latin votivus, which describes something as offered, dedicated, or given. And it's usually in conjunction with something like a vow or a promise. Uh, we as Catholics have been lighting votive candles for centuries, dating back even into the 1500s. In fact, when you go into a Catholic church, you'll notice that near the tabernacle, there's always a candle. And that candle is a visual representation of Christ's presence in the tabernacle. And a votive candle is no different. But instead of Christ's presence, it actually is an indicator of a prayer, an intention. So you can come up here, light a candle, and for three days, you have a visual symbol, visual representation of your prayer and of your intention. And the best part is, if you are going to come in here and light a candle, you need to take one of these and you need to take the light from somebody else's candle or somebody else's intention to light your own. And I love this because you are literally sharing the light of Christ with somebody else. And it's like St. Paul says, we are many parts, but we are all one body. And uh, I just love this because you can really share communally uh, with our, our community at prayer here. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is tithing. We ask that you tithe at least $3, and that goes to cover the cost of the candle, but it will also go back into the community to help those in need. Uh, so basically, I just want to encourage you to come here uh, either before Mass or after Mass or on your own time and light a candle uh, and share in that community of prayer. Uh, so if you have any questions, please contact the office. We'd be more than willing to answer them. Um, again, I'm Jesse Weiler, and thank you so much for your time.